The Cougars Cougar. are coming to uh, Morgantown, West Virginia. I don't know how they got this type of draw, uh, Ryan, with – uh, the football team had to come here. The basketball team had to come here and the baseball teams come in here and none of the West Virginia teams are going to Provo. So, uh, Hey, I guess we lucked out there. Hopefully the travel helps us there as well. But this BYU team, Ryan, we talk about it time and time again, especially on our big 12 show, the computers love them. A very good team, a very capable team and can, it's going to be a tough game here in the Coliseum on Saturday, a different team that you brought up earlier when they're not in Provo, but still, they, they, they've showed glimpses this year. They could do a lot of great things in March. Why don't you tell us more about this BYU team, Ryan? Yeah, and the reason why they're so much better at home than on the road, everybody get ready. They are going to shoot a three, <laughs> and then they're going to shoot another three, and then they're going to shoot a couple more threes, and then they're just going to keep shooting threes. More than half of their field goal attempts are from three. They And that's – I don't know if I've ever seen that in all my years breaking down an opponent. So on the year – they have 664 attempts. Um, sorry, 12, sorry, 12, almost 1,300 field goal attempts. They have almost 700 three point attempts. I, it, compared to their opponent, they, this is their opponent. Their opponents, their opponents are <laughs> attempting 400 threes a game. They're almost 700. They're almost doubling their opponents. So, and they do it from basically one through four. Their five man can shoot it a little bit. He is capable, he will shoot it. But Jackson Robinson, he's got over 100. And we're only guys, we're only 20 games into the season. Jackson Robinson, he's attempted 130. Trevin Nell, he's attempted 111. Noah Waterman, he's attempted 104. Spencer Johnson, he's attempted 87. Uh, Dolan Hall, he's uh, attempted 80. And then you got uh, Richie Saunders, he's attempted 60. And then you got the big kid, Khalifa, who's attempted Khalifa, 50. Um, so they – they have the green light. They don't even have the. They have the blue light. They take some of the worst shots I've ever seen in my years of watching basketball. <laughs> like, and that was what that was the problem when they played Houston at home. They probably could have won that game, but they their shot selection down the stretch just shot them completely in the foot. And we talked about it on the Big Twelve show, Rush. They were up twenty at Texas Tech in the first half because they made a bunch of threes, but then they couldn't make a three to save their life in the second half. So then they they couldn't win the game because they don't have another outlet to score. Mm -hmm. So um, it's pretty simple. Uh, this is a team probably you're going to switch some stuff against because you're going to switch to deny because you got to get them off the three point line. That's the bread and butter. They make twelve and a half a game, um, and they only shoot thirty six percent. So it's they're getting them up. I this is analytics on steroids in terms of the analytics crowd says the three-point shot's a better shot than the two-pointer. So BYU completely buys into that logic and theory. And they're you gotta give them credit. They they don't they don't weigh from it. They 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 embrace it. They don't change. That's what they do. And that's what we're getting into uh on Saturday at the Coliseum. Yeah, you have to cut them off at the three-point line because when they're forced to penetrate they're they, they can penetrate, but yeah. when the threes aren't going in and they're forced to penetrate it that you know Good things don't happen there. Uh, this BYU team also has had a week off. We get our bye week next week before Texas, so time to rest up. I don't. I'm assuming they're still getting here tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe if they got here early, I don't know yeah, how yeah. that works with travel and and you know the time zones when you have a week off. If your the school allows you to do a day, who knows? Uh, I'm. I don't. I don't. You know. We'll, we'll. I don't know how much of a part that has in the game. Uh, Matthew also brings up the women's plays B the women's teams going to Provo at the same time. Men's is, I don't know who's scheduling these games um, at the same time, but whatever it's, 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 it's it weird, is but what it is. <laughs> it is it's, as they like to say, but yeah, the Khalifa, they got their big man there. Hall's had a great season too. You got to watch out for him. This is, this is a team that if you kind of get lackadaisical, right? BYU will, we, we saw it versus Cincinnati. We saw it versus Oklahoma. They're very capable of getting sloppy and sloppy early, right? Trying to figure it out. However, sometimes we've seen that and then we, it's been contagious. We've kind of gotten sloppy too. We have to take advantage of when these teams down, especially a team like BYU before they get hot or as they're getting hot from the three point line, making sure that we're scoring points as well. And this, 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 they're going to shoot the light or try to shoot the lights out. And what, Ryan, what would you do from a defense? No, this BYU team comes to town. What are you doing on the defensive end? 
So, so here's the only other thing too. And and sometimes just the history of dealing with these teams is they're going to, they're going to make some threes. You can't, you can't take away every single three. That's the, that's what they do. You can't give up layups too. That that's yeah. sometimes these three point teams, you make such a strong emphasis on, we got to get them off three point line. We got to get them off three point line, but then you're giving up layups. You got to find a way to still challenge every shot, but not give up layups. You can't, they live off of dribble penetration. They, and they want to beat you off the bounce and then, you draw help and then they're going to pitch it to the corner. Then the guy at the top of the key has got to rotate to the corner. Then they're going to make the one more pass and they're going to put you in rotations. They it's a merry-go-round basically is, is what one of my former coaches would call it where they want, they want to draw a bunch of help and then kick it to the open shooter. So you, you got to sit down and guard the basketball and not get beat. That's, that's the number one thing because if you're in front of, if if you're between you and the basket, then you don't need to draw help. There's no help that need, and they can stay home, um, on the three point shooters. So that that's the main thing. You got to be able to guard the basketball. And if you don't, it's a scramble drill every single possession because they'll 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 move that thing like a freaking hot potato around the around the arc. They 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 share the ball, man. They they it's it's pretty cool to watch when they get it going, especially at home. Well, I mean, to be fair, this this team is what we're in a way not the same style of play but we've yeah. talked about it all season long making that extra pass i mean there's definitely things that they do that if our team did making that extra pass setting people up better then you know we we would have similar results i mean they're they're excellent at that and and the thing is too we talked about earlier in this episode ryan coming out of timeouts right and when there's a stoppage or any time that you kind of stop for a second and get a little, I don't want to say lazy, but you know, you're coming down because basketball obviously is a game of runs. It's yep. about being up. And then when you are down, minimizing when you're down, I mean, a team like BYU, you get down for a second, you kind of come out of a timeout, a little lackadaisical. You're all of a sudden they've scored nine points yeah. like that. Like we're, we're, you're up two, you're up three. And then all of a sudden it's like, how are we down six? It's been a minute. They, they can do that to you. So avoiding that. But anyway, Ryan, it's it's that important time in the episode. Your former employer, the West Virginia Mountaineer basketball team. Uh, if you were coaching this team, Ryan, what would be your three keys to victory? So the and they're all going to go back to the three point line and how you prevent BYU from getting easy ones. Number one, I, I talked about it, you got to guard the ball. You 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 got to be able to stay in front. You can't get straight line drive. And then next thing you know, it's the merry-go-round and you're scrambling in rotations and they they got you. And, and that that's what they want to do. Number two, let's go to the other end. Offensively, what's a good time to 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 get get some easy threes in transition? So shot yes. selection on our end, you got grind them because they don't want to play defense. They they just want to shoot a bunch of threes. They want to shimmer. Yeah. They they <laughs> they they, they Every- their brand of basketball. They they don't want to play defense. So if you grind them, you take good shots. You make shots, then you can set your defense. But if you clank that thing off the front of the rim, like Hugs would say to everybody for years and years, then it's a jailbreak the other way. Then they can get going with transition threes. And number three, another what's the best time to shoot the shoot the three? Offensive rebounds. Because every because you're not attached to your man because you're going to get the rebound. You got to keep them off the offensive glass. They do a decent job on the offensive glass. Um, maybe because these these rebounds are so long, probably. I mean, they don't have like the most elite athletes in the world they're they are BYU so but they're they're crafty in the way that they get their rebounds and then they kick it out and make three so prevent everything goes back to getting them off the three point line guard the basketball shot selection on the other end and box out and box out yeah matthew brought it up in the chat and it's a, it's a great point you brought it up too as well ryan is second chance points you it just it just can't be allowed Others. i mean cincinnati did a good job of it last night too i mean there were definitely holes in our game last night. I mean, we've gotten better, but the holes that still need to be filled. Um, protect the basketball. That's my big thing as yeah. well. No, no steals, no giving up points, uh, finish through on your layups, any easy shots you gotta, you know, if, if they're shooting threes, you better, be, we better be making our twos. So, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's what you have to do, but it's, it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a fascinating game. This is actually a game I would have loved to see like a press Virginia pl- team play. I would have been very fascinated in that matchup. I think matchup. we would have smacked them. I, I, I do I, too. I think it would have been a really bad matchup for them because yes. 
They would have made a couple threes, but I think their legs would have been gonzo by the second half. Man, we need to bring back Press Virginia. Uh, it was great. It, that was those, the glory days. The glory days, man. Uh, I mean, hey, I'll say the women's team, they're running. They're doing some Press Virginia right now, yep. doing an excellent job of it. I uh, also want to let everyone know it's in the uh, description of this episode. A Vision Home set up a fund with Country Roads Trust that you can pledge for every turnover the women's team gets. I think it starts at 25 cents to whatever. You can make it a one-time game. You can make it uh, for all the games, but for every turnover they get, whatever the amount you pledge, they take out of your account or ever, however you set it up. So it's a great fund. Obviously, our women's team's doing an excellent job, ranked 23rd in the country, and they're going to Provo. Uh, where, and 22 in the country, BYU men's is, is coming here. So Hopefully, uh, two West Virginia wins. You know what they say. You know, us mountaineers in the mountains, we bring our rifles. We like to hunt cougars. So, hopefully, it's uh, <laughs> hopefully it's two wins, especially uh, for for the Bishop family. As as people may know, I got married. Uh, my my parents went to BYU. My brother went to BYU. I got married when West Virginia played BYU football. Great wedding date. The stupid Big Twelve couldn't put their schedule out, and there was COVID backup weddings. We had to choose a date. But nothing going on, Ryan. Thank God you're not getting married tomorrow. Um, <laughs> no, that that'll no. be in June. Summer. Uh, yeah, there you go. Smart. Smart my end. Um, so, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, so the Bishops will be well represented tomorrow at the basketball game. Um, if you see us, obviously, come say hi. We'll, we'll be on Media Row as well, the Ryan and Rush Show. But anyway.